<laughs> Hello again. Right, we're back on the old flat earth question because this guy just, he doesn't want to let up. So, we're on day two of waiting for an answer for this guy who claims to be the smartest guy in the room. He knows everything. I know nothing. I, I'm a coward. I ran away from his debate. Okay, fine. I'm a coward. Even though you, you had to lie to invent that narrative. The original question that you didn't want to answer is this. This is a non-energetic, inanimate object. It cannot propel itself off the floor to be in the air like it is now. Look. Please propel yourself if you have so the ability. No, it can't. So how does it get off the floor? Well, my arm is providing the energy, the kinetic energy required to get this object into the air like this. And we can calculate the energy that I will need with my arm through the gravitational equation I showed in the previous video. That is accurate. That accurately can predict and calculate how much energy my arm will need to lift this up and keep it in the air. Because that takes muscular strength, you know, energy. And that energy will be converted into movement as soon as I stop providing it by letting go of the thing. And it will be going this direction and it will come to a rest here. Like that. So my question was, where is that energy coming from? How does it know to go down? That was the question I asked you and I said, and you said you were going to do it, but you failed so far. I said, make a five minute video clip explaining and showing your equation, how that energy is developed that is bringing the object, which we know is an inanimate object. It is not able to propel itself. Where's that energy coming from? How does it know to go down? That was a question. You have not answered it. Even though you did a two and a half hour stream and you rambled on at length events about other things, including having a slide dig at me, you know, you, you, you made it personal to me, which by the way, is what people don't do in science because science isn't interested in your opinions. Science is about evidence and facts. The fact is this will fall down every single time I do that experiment and it will demonstrate falling towards gravity with weight, which is an artifact of gravitational pull. Hencely, we know gravity is real. The calculation we use to predict it accurately is accurately gonna work and is real also. And the only reason flat earthers need to deny this is because part of that equation is the radius of the round earth. So, please explain, where does the energy come from that causes this object to fall like that if it is not gravity? Make that five minute video, otherwise you lose. It's as simple as that. And as I agreed before, when you have made that five minute, very simple explanation video, because that's all you should need, you shouldn't even need a minute. I'm giving you five times that. Once you have made that video, I will take your video and download it. I will chop it into segments and I will talk about it in my own video. And then, as I agreed, I will appear on a stream to debate you your answer. That is what the debate was. I said I'll debate your answer to my question. I'm not going to debate you on the ins and outs of the flat earth because it is nonsense and I will not waste my time on it. So please, if you are as good as your word, which I, I know you're not, you won't you won't answer this question because you can't. Please answer the question where the energy comes from, put it in a five minute video, then we have a debate. Otherwise, we just have you talking a load of nonsense, lying, being a phony, misleading people with your deceitful rubbish. So that's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed that and you learned something. God bless you all. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye now. And it stands to reason. A truth doesn't rely on its presenter's honesty or nice, charismatic personality. Truth stands on its own merit, hence the five minute video request. So please answer and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.